Okay, so here's the laptop, uh, the Predator 300. It's holding up great. Um, I'm getting ready to start working on a long-term review. Where I'll do a lot more benchmarks. I'm waiting. Um, the last game I want to benchmark is the new Cyberpunk game to see how it performs, and it's coming out November, I want to say November 15th maybe. So once it comes out, I'll benchmark it. Hopefully finish editing the bit editing the video pretty quickly after that. But today's video I got I ordered a one terabyte SSD to put in here in addition to the half gig terabyte already in it. The half terabyte SSD already in it. And this will be my first time opening up the laptop and looking at the interiors. Now I'm in a hotel, so the lighting's not great. But I did get a new camera. So hopefully the video quality is good. Got my screwdriver. And if you're ever opening up a laptop, Spend $10, get a high quality, small screwdriver. This one has inter interchangeable different heads. Got a little cup here to put my screws in and a guitar pick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up the back here. top. Um, you can just kind of take a guitar pick and feel around, see where it starts to come loose. And I've found right here by these heat sinks. With my guitar pick I've been able to get it to come loose. This fan has just a couple of cat hairs or dog hairs on it. But otherwise this one is spotless. Here's our RAM. It's the two 8 gigabyte sticks if you were wanting to upgrade. Here's our battery, uh, 57 watt hours. Here's the OEM SSD. We're going to leave it in and just add the second. And right here, in this big shiny slot, is where if I bought a, H, uh, a regular hard drive, you would put it using the little kit that comes with it. 
These are cute little tiny speakers. Okay, so anytime you're working on a laptop, putting uh, new components in or out, it's good to disconnect the battery. We're getting ready to slide the new SSD in. Um, there's a small screw right here where the back of it is that we have to take out first. Now I'm just going to take it and hopefully it just gently slides in. Alright, took a little bit of a push, but it's in. I'm going to take our tiny screw. and it's in. So we're going to reconnect the battery and snap the case back on and then before I put all the screws back in I'm going to turn it on and make sure it's reading this hard drive before I have all the screws in there and have to take all those back off and see if it's reading. Now Working on your $1,100 laptop can be a bit scary, but uh, if you go somewhere like Micro City, I'd probably trust them if you have a Micro City around you. But so when I, I was out of town, I'm well, pretty much always out of town. But a couple months ago, and my wife, uh, the dog spilled an energy drink on her laptop, so I told her turn it off. Uh, and take it to like a local repair shop where they can disassemble it and they actually they have a heating pad there but they disassembled it took out the battery and the hard drive and all the kits and left it on the a little heating pad for a couple days to dry out and then it started back up just fine and they said hey uh you know we don't have the factory charger but you're probably going to need a new battery so just take it home with your charger see if the battery works we're not sure and um Sure enough, her battery wasn't it wasn't holding a charge at all. As soon as it came unplugged, it died. And so I took it apart to see. And you know, I'll never know if they did it on purpose or not. But they had simply left the battery. The battery was unhooked. Or it, it was sitting there, but it wasn't pushed in all the way, so. It's one of those things you'll never know. Did they do it because they wanted to make another hundred bucks to install a new battery? Or was it just a simple mistake? It's definitely going to be a hassle to get that back in. But it's snapped. It's in there. We're going to... Hopefully it works normally. Kind of press the front on first, then you work your way back. Of 
clip. Uh, clip. If your charger is lined up square in the hole, it's a good way to tell that you got the back case back on correctly. And to double check that. I like to grab my charger and if it goes easily in like that, I know it's on there good. Okay, so we got it installed and it was showing up in BIOS, but it's not showing up here uh, under my computer, under devices and drives. So what we have to do is go to control panel. Um, system and security. Sto storage spaces, manage storage spaces, and then the only option under here, create a new pool and storage space. And I think it's glaring, but it just says, do you want to allow an app to make changes to your device? Of course, I'm going to click yes. And then unformatted drives, Samsung SSD 970 TiVo, one terabyte. It has 931 gigabytes available. We're going to format it. Okay, and right here, it's gonna ask you about your resiliency type. Um, if you choose two-way mirror or one of these other settings, I don't know a lot about it, but basically it just, it's an extra backup for your data. But we're not worried about that. We're just gonna go simple resiliency. There we get full use. The SSD, none of it's used for backup. And on this format, we're going to type in 930 gigabytes, all 930 gigabytes, and then create storage space. And now we look right here. We have 929 gigabytes free. Okay, now all it's left to do is to put all the screws back in. Um, now the back panel gave me a little bit of trouble coming off, but that could just be because it's brand new, so it's which is brand new, it's just kind of still not pliable at all yet or anything, maybe. Um, if you like this video, or you know what, even if you didn't like the video, and you're just a nice guy, you can subscribe to my channel, and that helps me out a ton. If you have any questions, uh, I do my best to basically answer almost every comment, every question that's not repetitive, the one I've already answered. And last screw. Alright, thanks.